Morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.02 on Tuesday, the 9th of May, and this is your pre-opening comment. We have a lot of news, so I'm going to get right to it. Okay, Janet Yellen. Is she kidding? First of all, she complains about the debt ceiling. I get that. Everybody gets that. But uh, now she's also talking about the regional banks being okay. I don't understand how we go from... uh, FDIC seizures to okay, when really they've done absolutely nothing. There are no changes. So what, it mysteriously got better? I don't get it. Okay, and one more reason to never trade Chinese stocks. Today they're talking about a slowdown. The day before yesterday, they were talking about a booming economy. The week before that, they said the bottom is in and everything is great. And yet today, all of a sudden, we're talking about a slowdown. Okay, just some news without pricing. Spotify purges all AI tunes from their stream, calling it fake stream. Uh, Amazon. Uh, offering um, $10 if you pick up your package at a Whole Foods or an Amazon distribution point. Um, And besides that, uh, they are now uh, talking about distribution of movies and TV shows, um, helping them, which is okay. Fisker, a company that's only been bankrupt three times uh, with a uh, high, uh, let's see, 32 and a low of four. Today is uh, down another 89 cents at 573 um, on cutbacks, cutbacks in um, uh, manufacturing. Also, same Bain, Lucid. Bigger than expected losses, six eighty-five down eighty-six cents. Also, another one that has come and gone. Tesla uh, breaking ground on a lithium processing plant. The stock is, you know, really just down with the rest of the market. One seventy down two. They say they'll be able to produce batteries for a million cars by twenty twenty-five. Um, Tempur-Pedic, TPX, uh, which closed yesterday, 37.62, up $1.31. This morning has traded up to 39 and down to 33, uh, basically uh, unchanged, down 62 cents on a $4 billion purchase in cash and uh, paper of Mattress Firm. WeWorks. This one gets a big gold star. First, they jacked up the prices. Then they threw out the founder because it was obvious they had problems. Then the public got involved. The stock has a high of 14.97 and a low of 39 cents. And today it's 47 up a penny. Interesting. Really interesting. Uh, Today's news, just so that everybody understands, was basically uh, the forecast revenues and lowered projections. Like, that's a surprise with uh, the real estate market. Okay, Uh, Wayfair, another one for massive destruction of equity stock was 369 to 29 and a half today 3680 that's down 317 or eight percent on the fact that they need money and they're issuing 600 million in convertible bonds palantir on the upside beats gives great guidance says they're going to be profitable every quarter this year and that one is 8.93 up a dollar 24 or 15%. PayPal with a beat top and bottom but the stock is 71.35 down 4.17. JP Morgan lowered their 
price target from 100 to 85. The problem for uh, PayPal seems to be margins. And that's about it. So far, we have uh, the Dow down about 125, down 65 in the NASDAQ, and down 16 in change in the S&P. Uh, the chart on the screen, let's take a quick look. Uh, all of the futures are down. Grains are down. Energy is down. Uh, metals, with the exception of the gold, are down. Uh, the cattle and stuff aren't open yet. The softs, this is a huge move in the cotton. Let's just take a look here. I mean, we've really been all over the place uh, with cotton. Uh, and we've come down from uh, 150, almost 152, currently uh, 80 down 257 uh, with the contract low uh, back at on Halloween it looks like uh, when it was 70 so it's been clearly it's been cut in half um, the dollar is up a little the Bitcoin has reacted slightly uh, down 2300 yesterday up 380 that certainly doesn't uh, help anyone and the bonds are up 17 30 seconds or about a half a point all right everyone i'll be back tonight oh don't forget uh, there's no economic news today but tomorrow is cpi and thursday is ppi so those are definitely um movers oh and in the g i'm so surprised range we have sam beckman freed trying to get his indictment dismissed. The guy's got balls, I will say that.